Hi friends, today I'm going to be reading the book A Nest is Noisy by Diana Hutz Aston. A nest is noisy. noisy. It is a nursery of chirp chirping. Those are some hummingbirds right there. Buzzing, squeaking, peep peeping, bubbling babies. A nest is welcoming. Many birds assemble a cradle for their eggs, knitting together leaves and twigs and softening it with grass, hair, moss, fluffy seeds, leaf skeletons, or even a snake's old skin. They might also add candy wrappers, plastic bags, and bits of cloth or paper. Birds are not the only animals that make nests. Orangutans climb high into the rainforest canopy, where each day they braid a new bed of strong branches and line it with a mattress of leaves and twigs. On rainy nights, a woven umbrella of leaves keeps them dry. A nest is enormous. One of the largest bird's nests is the dusky scrub fowls. Their mounded nests are made of decomposing leaves and twigs that can measure more than 36 feet in diameter and nearly 16 feet high. That's really, really big. Or tiny. The smallest bird's nest, the bee hummingbirds, is a golf ball sized cup of moss, bark, and leaves, usually wrapped in spider silk. The stretchy silk lets the nest expand as the babies grow larger. The nest is spiky. Elf, owls, and cactus wrens select a prickly nesting place as a refuge from slithering snakes and other hungry hunters. Pebbly. You, like lampreys, use their suction cup mouths to move stones the size of peas, walnuts, and even baseballs, and create depressions called reds in shallow steam stream beds. They lay their eggs in the reds and cover them with more pebbles to hide them. Papery. Hornets, yellow jackets, and paper wasps scrape fibers from weathered wood and chew it until it's a moist paste that dries into a tough, paper-like material. The bald-faced hornet queen makes a cell for each egg. Or even bubbly, African gray tree frogs make a foamy nest for their eggs and branches on overhanging water. With her hind legs, the female churns a substance secreted from her body into a frothy mass that in sight, sunlight hardens into a meringue-like crust. A few days after the tadpoles hatch, the nest disintegrates and the tadpoles drop into the water where they can feed and develop into frogs. Gormy blow bubbles that pack together to form a nest that floats like a raft in still water. Under the bubble nest, the male and female spawn, produce eggs. Once the female has released her eggs, she swims away while the male carries the eggs in his mouth and places them in the nest. After they hatch, the baby fish or fry swim beneath the gooey nest where they are guarded by the male until they are ready to strike out on their own. A nest is hot. Some South American oven birds forge an adobe oven made with thousands of mud and clay pellets. Baked in the sun, their nest is a cozy place for their eggs. An alligator piles decaying plants and mud to create a mat. In the center, she digs a hole where she lays her eggs and then, with her four limbs and jaws, covers the nests with more vegetation to keep them warm until they hatch as squeaking babies. The temperature of the nest determines on if the alligator is male or female. A nest is hidden. In spring and summer, tens of thousands of female Kemp's Ridley sea turtles ride the waves together onto Gulf Coast beaches and drag themselves up to the dunes. They use their hind flippers like shovels to dig a pit into the sand. After the turtle deposits her round, leathery eggs, she tamps down the sand with the underside of her shell and flings more sand over the nest to hide it, any sights of it. The platypus, one of two mammals to lay eggs, hollows out tunnels or burrows along stream beds. With her tail, the female carries moist plant matter deep into the tunnel to make a nest and lays soft-shelled eggs in the size of marbles. She adds plugs of soil in the tunnel to protect the eggs from rising waters, predators, and changing temperatures. A nest is neighborly. There is safety in numbers. Some nest builders live in colonies where there are more ears and eyes to raise an alarm when predators, animals that eat each other, are near. Baja weavers build nests that hang from thorny trees or palmy fronds like upside-down bottles. Swinging in the air from a woven tub, each nest is protected from lizards, snakes, and bigger birds. In towns of hundreds of inhabitants, 
black-tailed prairie dogs make grassline nesting chambers within the labyrinth of burrows. When a predator is spotted, the prairie dogs bark to warn their neighbors that danger is near. A nest is peculiar. Army ants make living nests called by vox. Clinging to one another's legs, jaws, or mandibles, they form a writhing bowl ball of millions of ants suspended from a branch by chain of more ants. Inside are chambers for the queen, a broad of eggs, newly hatched larvae, and food. Cave swiftlets concoct a nest made entirely of saliva. Swinging its head from side to side, the male spits long, pearly strands onto the wall of a cave that harden into a lacy bowl when exposed to air. Bird's nest soup, made from swiftlet nests, is among the most expensive foods eaten by humans. A nest is muddy. Flamingos erect a heap of mud, grass, and stones up to 12 inches tall and then lay a single egg in a depression at the top. The height protects the egg from changing water levels and excessive ground heat. Both parents feed their hatchlings crop milk from the digest digestive tracts until they leave the nest. A nest is adopted. Some creatures choose their nests made by others to broad their offspring. Cowbirds and common cuckoos lay their eggs in nests of other birds where they are hatched and raised by the mother of a different species. The buff-breasted paradise kingfisher flies like a torpedo at a termite nest, smashing it hard in mound with its beak to blast a hole into the side. Inside the mound, they peck out a tunnel leading to a chamber where they lay their eggs. Termites seal off the tunnel from the inside so that their nests are separate. A nest is noisy, buzzing, swishing, rustling, flapping, and humming with babies, but only until they are ready to fly, swim, or crawl away. Then a nest is quiet. Yeah.